Hello YouTube, this is Kevin with Williams Weekend Lawn Cutting Service. I'm here to share another video. I'm, today's discussion is, I'm going to talk about the four top mistakes that I made in starting my lawn care business. The reason why I'm sharing this with you, because I don't want anybody to repeat the same mistakes that I did, and hopefully it will help someone down the road. Mistake number one is pricing. If you are in this thing for the long haul, I highly suggest that you do your research on your areas to make sure that you're actually pricing uh, close to being right. Because if you start pricing yourself too low, you're going to price yourself right out of business. Now, with my own personal story, uh, I want to say uh, almost uh, month three, that's when I discovered that I was actually pricing incorrectly. Now, how I pretty much set up everything with my business, I had a business account, had a personal account, and uh, when I started pulling money, when I got close to that third month, when I started pulling money out of my personal account, that was pretty much my wake-up call. And so I had to do my research and say, hey, you know, is it pricing or am I spending too much or is this not for me? So do, through the research, discover, hey, it was the pricing. Okay, so I fixed that and everything was, was pretty much good to go after that. Okay. All right, so what I what I really and truly believe what a lot of people do where they make a mistake is um, they don't set set up the different accounts. A lot of people can't budget properly, so their business money is actually flowing into the personal money, and you normally don't know uh, the issue until either tax time or uh, when you when your bank account starts to you know start getting low. So uh, you know just take that into account. Okay, mistake number two. Taking on too much. My thing is, I just wanted to, you know, get out and start cutting lawns, and pretty much that was it. But at the time, I had Pushmower, um, lawn tractor, a trimmer, and a blower. But, you know, I wanted to, uh, customers asked, hey, can you cut the bushes? Can you do this? Can you do that? You know, yeah, I would say yes, and plus I wasn't charging right as well, so I was pretty much, you know, kind of working myself to death. So some examples of uh, pulling up bushes out of the ground. Um, you know, so you had to actually kind of dig, and that took time, depending on how many bushes it was. Um, as far as like, um, I used to have some yards where they had a small front yard, but they had a real big backyard, but I couldn't put my 38 uh, lawn tractor through that gate. So I would actually, you know, push that, that. It took me like 20, maybe 20, 25 minutes just to cut the backyard by pushing so I don't do any pushing no more. Now, I will push if there's like a hill and I don't want to do the trimming thing, you know, just depending on how I'm feeling, you know, I'll push that. But other than that, I won't do no big old backyard and, you know, taking me 20, 25 minutes to do. Another thing is uh, cleaning uh, shrubs. I mean, cleaning the uh, beds, uh, trimming shrubs. Now, I didn't have a... Um, the hedge trimmer. I actually used those shears. So that's actually how I did my trimming at the time. I'll never do that again. Of course, I have the hedge trimmers now, so, you know, it's pretty much an in and out type thing. And, you know, I actually spent too much time on the property. Trimming branches, you know, of the trees, those low-lying trees. Now, I didn't have a pole saw either. Now, I did have a saw where you had a pole, which has like a blade on the end, and I'm sitting there cutting all these branches and stuff. And, yeah, it took me some time to do those properties. So that's mistake number two, taking on too much. Mistake, mistake number three, stressing out over stuff that I cannot control. Now, I do, um, I do have a full-time job, uh, which is Monday through Friday. And on the weekend, that's when I would cut lawns. And guess what would happen on the weekend? You got seven days out of the week. Five of those days, no rain. And guess when it would rain? The weekend. I'm like, I wish I had a way to shut the water off and turn it back on. But, um, you know, I just, I really stressed over that thing. Like, oh, I'm, I'm going to catch all this up and all this other good stuff. But what I do now is that, and what I did then, I would just, uh, when I got off the, uh, get off my uh, full-time job, I would actually cut the lines after the job, you know, just, uh, uh, four, I mean, four or five a day until all of them was done. Of course, communicated with the customer, you know, so that I could actually put them back on the original schedule uh, so everything would be nice and gravy. Now, so far, you know, out of all these years I've been doing this, it hasn't rained that much on the weekend, 
Um, you know, thank God for that. And, and knock on wood. All right. And mistake number four. Driving everywhere to service a line. So I had lines like 45 minutes this way, 45 minutes that way, 30 minutes going this way. So there's something that's called windshield time. I'm sitting in the truck just driving around. So all my money is actually going into the tank of the truck versus the lawnmower sitting on the grass. So yeah, I lost a lot of money doing that. So route density, and I know you probably heard this all over YouTube, route density is the way to go. You have to consolidate those routes. Um, how I got this thing going now, on one, I have a mass of lines on that side of the town. So, you know, you pretty much got to really and truly work on the route density. And yes, I know you might be desperate, desperate for yards. Well, you're going 45 minutes this way, 45 minutes that way. All your money is going in the tank of those trucks, cars, or, or whatever that you're driving to get to those locations. So, uh, in closing, I hope this helps someone. Uh, please don't repeat what I've done. And uh, everybody have a good one. And I'll see you on the next one.